Hi, it's Gail the Cleaning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. We're downstairs in one of the spare rooms down here and I have commandeered it as my card making and scrapbooking room. When the kiddos were little, we, they used to play down here in our partially finished basement and I could keep my scrapbooking projects open and always to hand here. Now, um, I've tried to adjust my boom stand so you could see as much as possible, but you're only getting the front half of my desk and I work closer back, way back here. So I'm going to have to figure something else out as we get going, but I want to show you what I am going to do today. I'm going to make my May cards as per viewer request. So if you are expecting a planning video, you're going to see a card making video. And I have all my supplies pulled here ready to go. So I, I know that I'm sending out this April showers card. And so I want a May flowers card and I knew I wanted to use these vellum sticky notes from Simply Gilded on the front part of my card. So I decided to pull some plain white card stock. And then I went through and thought, well, what could go with these vellum sticky notes? And so I pulled these sheets of Stampin' Up! paper. These are double-sided, but I'm going to use this side, this side, this side, and some of these two sheets here. Although I thought about using this side as well, but... I want it to be floral. And then when I looked through, I was thinking what uh, inks would go well. And I know I'm going to put with this on the front, like a greenery, I think. So I thought the Lucky Limeade went best. And then with all of these, I can use the Bumblebee. That's a new color. Um, before I even pulled the papers, I pulled my stamps. My inside greeting is going to be from this hostess set. It's going to say smile. I like that it has a flower as the eye dotted. I might even color that in, but I don't know because I hate coloring. And then from Grateful Bunch, I think this might go across part of the front and or... I'm going to use these three flowers because I have a punch that matches and I like punches that match. So let's get started building. All right, you're going to have to be on an angle for me to cut my paper. This is my new cutter. I hauled it recently. I'm sorry you need to be on an angle, but um, my craft room is not set up necessarily for filming. So um, and I'm going to speed through this video anyway. So when you make a card and I purchase eight and a half by 11 paper, um, to split this piece of paper in half, you can do four and a quarter and then your card can be a flip up card. But I want my card to be a card that is wider than tall. So we want to cut at five and a half. So all I do is line my paper up at five and a half and cut. And now I have two card bases. Now, before you do all of that, let me scooch this guy out of the way. What you might want to do is score because the cards are all going to have to be folded. This is my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And then this is just a random stylus I had gotten once. So if I place my card here and score it, sorry, the cat is down here, um, at four and a quarter, I can score all of my cards. And then when I cut them, they're all ready to go. I want to make 26 cards. Actually, I want to make 25 cards. 25 people are on my card list. Um, but I'll end up making 26. Or at least I will cut 26 card bases. Because I need 13 sheets. 
I started making cards 20 years ago when I first moved here. I've always enjoyed those kinds of crafts. Um, and I met a friend who was a card maker. And so I took some Stampin' Up! classes with her and started building up my Stampin' Up! stash. And yeah, I, I've just thoroughly enjoyed making cards for 20 years. And plus living quite rurally, it was a good half hour to the Hallmark store. And sometimes in the winter time, the ice and snow just prevented me from getting there and I needed a card. So making my own was something I really have enjoyed doing. And now of course, all the Hallmark stores are closed. Um, not because of COVID, but because they're closed. They're just, the Hallmark store is, is gone. It was gone long before COVID. So everything is scored and I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring my cutter back in and show you that when I cut it five and a half, The lighting down here today is terrible. It's raining. So I'm gonna get all of these cut. I always work assembly line style. All right, now that I have all my card bases, I'm gonna cut my card front. And that means this decorative paper. So since the card base, let's bring you one, is four and a quarter by five and a half, I want this paper to be a quarter inch, um, yeah, a quarter inch smaller all around so that it stands out. So I'm going to cut it at four. This particular sheet of paper has no top or bottom, the paper could go either way. It is 12 by 12, so I get three four inch pieces, and then I want it by five and a quarter, and I can get two out of each. So that gives me six card fronts, as you can see, it fits on there perfectly centered. So that'll give me six card fronts per piece. And like I said, I'm making 25 cards. This also can go either way. So again, I'm just gonna cut it at four. And then at five and a quarter. She's upset because she wants her wet food, but it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Now this particular piece of paper can only go this direction, which is fine. So I'll just hold it straight up correctly and cut it at four. I love this piece. It's actually one of the um, A6 dividers I created. And we're gonna go by five and a quarter. The cat is now opening the drawers to my little dresser that I use for a storage. She is so curious. Huh. So three times six is 18. This guy can go either way also, but I'm going to cut him like this. What you doing, kitty? Kitty, get it. So I now have 24. I need one more. So I'm just going to cut one strip 
and I'll save that big piece for scrap, not scrap, but for another time and save this one as well. Okay, let's move over to the other station. So I really want you to be able to see everything, but unfortunately I really feel like, well, I can't extend, I can't bend my um, arm. So I'm gonna try to work a little bit at an angle. So like I said, I like to work in um, assembly line fashion. So what I have here are my card bases and this when you fold your card this of course will be the front and then the inside and the back so knowing that the left side here is the back my mom for christmas one year my cat is climbing in and out of drawers got me this stamp that says created just for you by gail so i'm going to stamp all of the card backs next. Okay, with those finished, I like to mess around a little bit with a prototype. So I'm gonna use my bone folder. It just helps get a crisp fold and just make sure that fold is folded well. And I'm going to take one of my card fronts and I'm gonna glue it down. When I'm making a load of cards, like I am right now, I like to use my Scotch Advanced Tape Glider. That way I don't have to stop and refill my Tombow several times, although I have been known to do that. So I wanted to use the Simply Gilded business, and that's pretty, but you know what? It's not gonna show up. So let's try something. Let me cut this down. This is three and a half by five. So if I were to use this to layer, for example, and put that there, I can still see my background paper. Hmm, let me cut it down to four. I just cut it three, four, three by four. I think that's the size I'm gonna do. Now, you know what? This could use a little bit of embossing. Let's emboss. Okay, this is my little embossing station. I have a basket with all my different uh, die cuts and embossing folders. And this is my big shot that I purchased a while ago from um, Stampin' Up. So I have all these folders here in the front. And I want to find one that is springy with florals, I think. I have clouds. I'm sure I must have a floral. I see one that I can use. I have this one with all these vines. I think I'm gonna use this one with all the vines. So you just slip your piece of paper in. And then you have to make the sandwich. So I have um, this multi-purpose platform and it has to be open like this. And then I put in my folder and I put in the top plate and I just roll it through. That didn't do a thing because I forgot the bottom plate. <laughs> there we go. Well, let's line it up better. There we go. Okay. Grind it through, which will make it embossed. Isn't that cool? So this is the um, indented part, and here's the boingy out part. So let's take a look and see how that looks on the card. So my cat has decided she needs to sit in my chair, but this is how it would look. And then I would put this here. So far, so good. And now what I want to do is stamp these and put them about, I think. I don't know that I want it like this. I think I want 
that partly off. I wonder it would be neat to have a greeting there, but maybe I'll just use, well, let's just try stamping and see what happens. So because I'm going to punch, when I go to punch, I will slip, let me get a scrap. When I go to punch, I'll slip the paper in like this. So therefore, I need to stamp like that. So let me get a block. There we go. And I was thinking I was going to use the bumblebee. This is the new ink. I have not opened it before. So it's really tight. Let me get a thinner piece of white. That is thick white cardstock, which I like to use for my bases. When it comes to punching, I prefer to use a thinner, whoops, sorry, I kicked it, a thinner cardstock. So I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Set that sucker down there. Let's punch him. I like to make sure it's lined up as best as I can get it. So that looks pretty good. And now all three of those guys boing are out. And you know what's nice to attach those with? Glue dots. Now there's a really neat trick that you can use if you have a stylus, you can take it and punch it in the center on a foam board and it will pop up your flower. I actually don't have a foam board. Um, so let me just squoosh it here just a tiny bit on my cleaner just so you can kind of see it would work better on a foam board but anyway so if I take a glue dot I can glue dot a couple of these guys glue dot this big one too like so um and then that would be my card. I like it. I feel like, I feel like it really needs a greeting. Suppose I glue dot this guy here. Maybe I should put the smile. Hmm. Thinking about putting the smile on the vellum. Let's give that a whirl. Let's grab the gumball green. You can't see it. Okay, let's try black. Now I like my memento ink in black. However, because it's vellum, I'm gonna do stays on. Stays on does just that. It stays on. Move this guy. Smile. He also dries out quickly, so I'm gonna put the lid on. What do we think? I feel like if I get most of the smile here, maybe. And then put this guy here. That's kind of cute. Let me zoom in. If I were to do this, let's actually adhere it. Oops. 
my I'm almost out. It's not even coming off. What is your deal? There we go. Sometimes this thing is a pain. See, it's just about out. Yep, it's out. But if I were to adhere this, and since I'm out, I'm not gonna refill right this second, and I were to put a glue dot under there so you can't see, put a glue dot under there so you can't see, put a glue dot under there so you can't see, but I actually wanna grab the glue dot. And let's make it so you can see that it says smile. And this guy is already glue dotted. We're gonna put him here. I kind of like that, hold on. I have some different embellishments. Let's get the one that matches, which I think would be this yellow. But you know what would be pretty? To put the navy in the center. Since that's a navy color. Well, as close as I can to the navy. So maybe Boinka. 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 Now when you put it in your card envelope, that's going to get squooshed. How about that? That's cute, don't you think? I like that extra layer of the smile. And then on the inside, let's put, I get a big block. Let's use this leaf. You know, it would be really nice silver if I could sit in my chair. Cat. Do a little leaf action. And then, um, I need a greeting. It was gonna be life's uh, smile, but. I don't really have a spring quote, so I think I'm just gonna use this one. It says, thinking of you, and it's got a lot of flowers. And again, tap, tap, tap three times. And I'm just gonna put that there. And I think what I'll do is I'll stamp off with the green and stamp on with that. And then, like I could do these three, do something like that as well. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so let me assembly line that. We're gonna flip over all of the cards. And I am going to do the insides. So I'm going to stamp off, stamp that. Stamp that. Stamp that. Nice. So again, tap, tap, tap. Stamp off. Stamp. Stamp. And then you want the full Monty here. Thinking of you. I'm going to do all of these and I'll be right back. I have my stamp cleaner here. And what I'm gonna do is clean off my stamps. Just, I'm gonna scooch you so you can see what I'm doing. Just spray a little stamp cleaner. And give that a good little scrubby. And this guy is scrubby. I'm actually done with this one. And I'm done with this one. So there we go. Okay, now that that's clean, put this guy back where he goes. I just like to keep tidy as I go. Um, I still need that. I still need 
the flowers because I have to punch them all. So I think what I will do is, let's see. So let's do a punch here and punch there. And I wonder if I can get one more in. Hmm, maybe not. We'll punch it here. And then here. And one more there. And then we'll punch around here. Whoops. I'm actually stamping on a little piece of foam. It helps these clear stamps make a better mark. Okay, so for now I'm gonna do that. And then what will happen is after I punch all of these, I'll cut the extra. Oh, and I keep whacking you, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not used to being careful, I guess. So there's one. So I still have this inside, but all of this stuff here is waste. So I'm just gonna cut and recycle that. And then that way I can get a couple more in here. Woo, all right, that's all of them. And I still have some scrap paper I'll figure out what to do with or I'll cut it and put it in my scraps. So I have all of these flowers. I hope none, I think I picked up everybody that fell on the floor. Leave them over there. And let me just do a quick tidy. I pulled all the envelopes I need. I buy my envelopes in bulk. I make sure they're all going the right direction. I'm gonna set them here. And all I'm going to do is stamp the corner. Um, and I'm totally cool with going off. I'm okay that it's imperfect. Actually, I'm not that okay with that imperfection, but let's go, guy. Usually it turns out much nicer than that. I don't know what the deal is. Usually the envelopes provide the squish, but we'll put this inside. So, we'll just do a little design here. Just usually on the corner because of the dresses, you know, I don't want to mess things up. Plus, I also like to use washi when I close. These particular envelopes, um, the glue is terrible and it does not stay at all shut, which I dislike. So, but it gives me a chance to use my washi and I like that. So there we go. All the envelopes are decorated. Now I'm going to put away this ink and give my stamp a little scrubby and get it put away. Okay, off camera, I cut all 24 other pieces. I'm gonna try to run two in at once. I think I should be able to do that. And uh, yeah, see, I can get two in there. So, make my sandwich. Run them through. Nice. Good. 
so I'm gonna have to, I, the, the, the stand is there. See, I just whacked it with my hand. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Um, so yeah, again, I just do assembly line. So I'm going to fold. Sometimes I'll do this part one at a time, um, especially since I'm gonna be doing different colored uh, flower centers. So I can sit here and fold all of my cards or I can, sometimes I'll do one at a time. Um, it just depends on my mood that particular day. I will admit that uh, you really do need a bone folder. It just makes your card edges very professionally crisp. So I like that. I try to send a card once a month. January is pretty easy because I'll do winter, even though the first day of winter is December. My February card is Valentine's Day. If Easter is in March, I'll send an Easter card. If Easter is not in March, I will send a St. Patrick's Day card. If there's going to be a month that doesn't get a card, it's March without Easter. If April has Easter, I'll send an Easter card. If it doesn't, sometimes I'll do a spring. Sometimes I do April showers. Sometimes I do both Easter and spring, like this year. May, uh, I send a Memorial Day card, but only to um, my close family because it's not really a celebratory holiday. It's a remembering holiday. Both of my brothers, as well as my father, are veterans. So I'm very sensitive to that. And all three have seen combat. My younger brother more so. And, you know, have lost people. So I'm very sensitive to that. June is always happy summer, first day of summer vacation. July 4th, of course, for July. August is usually a back to school. September, I will do Labor Day or fall. October, Halloween. November, Thanksgiving. December, Christmas. All right, so those are all folded. So I have my vellum. I have my card parts and my tops. So I'm going to take, I'm going to make sure you're in frame. Yeah, this is where I have to work. And I just, whoa, I just put this guy on. Make sure he's tight. Tighten him a bit. There we go. And I'm going to roll. There we go. Now I got it going. So let's center this. And then because I have flowers, I actually thought of popping this up, but it's textured. So I'm just going to let it be. Put that here. Do smile. Peel it off. Oh, I love the smell of that stuff. You're not really supposed to breathe it, but it smells good. I'm gonna do a glue dot, and a glue dot, and set it down. And now, I don't want that to dry out. That's expensive. And now I'm gonna do a glue dot flowers middle, a glue dot flower small, and glue dot a big one. That's so cute. And get my guy. Let's get some centers. we go. Let me show you what it will look like. So it'll say smile, thinking of you, and the back has created just for you by Gail. And then I put them in the envelope box. 
So there we go. I'm gonna keep making these. Well, there's the final product. They're all in here and ready to go. All the cards and all the envelopes. So I had this one. And this one. And this one. And I still have several of these left over for another project. How fun. Well, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.